So in this video, we're gonna actually be talking about uh, which is fail to reach 10. So if you're still new to the channel, make sure you click the like button and you subscribe and you help us reach 10,000 subscribers. So we'll really, really appreciate that. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. So the first key level, remember guys, while I'm analyzing these levels, I'm also gonna be providing trade ideas ne? what might happen to the market so you're not just gonna learn uh, understanding key levels you're gonna see what is gonna happen on the mac on the markets currently and what i you what i i'm looking at and what you should be looking at as well so let's get into it so first one is usd czar usd czar has a nice key level so when it's come to analyzing guys this is the most important thing make sure when you analyze you always look at your left hand side because your left hand side determine what is going to happen on the future ne? look at your left hand side because your left hand side is going to determine what is going to happen to the future so this is what i've been looking at on the left hand side on this current pair so let me just go for the lower time frame to actually see what might happen so if you zoom in a bit you will see you will have a more of a clue what might happen so this what has been happening on the left hand side this level is key so let me draw it on a horizontal line so you can see it proper so this is a very key level right now so you can see why this level is key is this activity that has been happening this activity that has been happening so if you pay attention to there's this one spike here and another spike and another spike let me just write it for you and another spike here and another spike here so let me just highlight them one so so you won't see so there's another spike there's another spike there's another spike and another spike as well so what are these spikes that's a mind basically what are they telling you the spikes these spikes are actually telling you there's been a huge price rejection on this price which is 18 rand uh 33 cent in the usd against the dollar so there's been a huge rejection on this certain price so this has been this is a very important level this is a very important level so this is a very important price as well level and price is just one of the same thing so this is a very important price so this price has been important because it's been rejected for some several times so this price at this point was support because it was coming from uh from as uh, from up and then it hit down so whenever the price hit down this is a level of support so it hit the support hit the support hit the support hit the support this was a very strong support breaking the support at the end so after breaking the support it left a nice key level showing it that this is a drop base drop so this is a drop base drop so there's this base candle saying okay this level is very important this is a very important level ne? this is a very important level so as i was saying after breaking this price it has never tested before so what as a person thinking okay this price it took almost like five times to actually decide to break so now it has became a swap zone so what is a swap zone a swap zone is when a certain level of support becomes a resistant or a certain resistant becomes a support ne? so this level has become a a resistant cause now the price have to hit the roof right now the price have to hit the roof so what is gonna happen by just using your logic so knowing that this price has been this this strong while it was supports i know for the fact that when it's gonna be resistant this white is gonna happen it's gonna go up and decide to go down again and then decides to go down it's not just gonna pull up once no it can't just pull up because this is a very key level 
and it has proven to us that this level is a very strong level so let me just highlight it for you this is a very strong level this is a very strong level so i'm expecting the price to come up here and then decide to drop this is what you call an ftr first time back first time back now first time return basically first time return that's what an ftr is so i hope you understand this we're gonna make another example so make sure you click the like button and you subscribe to actually help me and support just click the like button and subscribe to actually make this channel grow so i saw the same key level on the euro usd euro usd né? this is the euro usd so if you see the euro usd using the same theory that we spoken about always look at your left hand side so always look at your left hand side because your left hand side determine what is going to happen on your right hand side so the history is very important in, on on forex so if you can see same thing applied you see a lot of spikes you see by just highlighting here you see a lot of spikes here you see there's a lot of spike so there's been a lot of rejection and a lot of rejection and a lot of rejection and a lot of rejection so let me just draw a horizontal line actually showing you this rejection at this point so you see there's a lot of rejection on this price here so there's a lot of rejection on this price so since it was coming up here it came here it was a support and then it was i mean this was a resistance and then it broken and then it became a support after breaking it becomes what you call um what you call a swap zone or uh, an SNR flip so depending on how you want to put it so it had tested as a support once and it tested a support twice two and then broke and then decided to do the same the exact same thing that it did to the USD are leaving a base candle showing us when we come back to this level we're gonna drop so if you see it proper uh, if you're gonna go on the lower time frame you're gonna see this activity a bit better than the hard time frame it's just that it the, the price just shrink when i zoom it in so that's why i decided to highlight it on the four hour so this is what is going to happen here since this is the same theory that i was talking about on the on the usd czar this is what's going to happen so let me zoom it in a bit this is what's going to happen the price going to respect this zone just on the base candle that I'm talking about this base candle this is where the price is going to respect and then decide to drop again so for those who might take this trade so it's a sell here and then you just put your stop loss above this above this base candle so your take profit will be this lowest low I hope that is clear to everybody and understand the importance of looking a key level so i'm gonna make a last example so make sure you click the like button and subscribe just to thank me for my effort so this is the last example and uh let's go for let's go for um let's go for the pound dollar so same thing with the pound dollar but the pound dollar is a bit different because it doesn't have a base so what do we start on looking at your left hand side look at your left hand side look at your left hand side um okay let me just zoom it like this uh let's zoom it like this so look at your left hand side so you can see there's a lot of spike showing us there's a lot of rejection here a lot of rejection 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 the same zone just draw a horizontal line where you see a lot of spike rejecting so you see there's a lot of rejection and there's this uh some sort of a peak what you call a peak a price creating high highs and high lows so this was a very important level you see this is a very important level this is a very strong support so after breaking one test two test three test four test so the price might come here and decide to drop so 
the main issue with this one, the main issue with this one, which I wouldn't take, is because it doesn't have the base candle. So what I love when the price have the base candle is because it shows me when should I enter and when should I put my stop loss. So here you can see it has all the good characteristics, but it doesn't have the base candle. The base candle is important because it gives you where's your entry point and where to put your stop loss. So right now I know the theory at this point that, okay, since it's coming to this zone, since it's coming to this zone, it might respect this zone. But the thing is, where should I put my stop loss? So I wouldn't take this trade. I would rather take the EURUSD because it has a base candle. So I hope you find this video very effective and you find this video very informative. And make sure you click the like button and you subscribe and you help me grow my YouTube channel. So bye for now.